Grace. So for Grace, I think I've been looking up to her for as long as I've started my competitive career. Um, so it's really nice to see her, you know, come to a finals at these Premier Leagues and let alone share the mat with her. So I'm so excited for all the improvement I'm about to see on the mat. And same with Azuma. I actually trained with her in Japan last year <laughs> in June. We went to um, her dojo in Sano. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see both of them compete and can't wait for what's to come. Wonderful. Uh, Claudia, you, 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 you didn't start off we in Canada. Tell us all about your, your background. How did you get into karate? Hmm. So I started when I was seven years old and I really looked up to my older brother back then and um, I wanted to be wherever he was. So he started karate at a dojo next to my house and um, you know, following after my brother's footsteps, I just like tried to get, tried, tried the sport and I fell in love with it. And falling in love with that is no doubt what most people will be trying to do with this particular performance of uh, Asuma Seiko. She's chosen the Katapapuren for the gold medal bout. Do you have a favorite kata? I was looking forward to seeing Chatanyar being performed after watching Riko Sami set the standard <laughs> really back in 2012. So, yeah, but Papurin is very beautiful. It's one of my katas as well. Azuma Seiko was a silver medalist in Paris. She was first in the A series and she's been a bronze medalist in the A series. So, well capable of winning a medal she's at least going to get a silver possibly gold depending on this performance and that of the world number one La Mousse Young Grace your thoughts about the performance so far Claudia very controlled I could see in Papa and it's really important to have good contrast between fast and slow technique and hard and soft technique here too. So, so far she's doing a good job being dynamic. Any particular areas that you would look out for that are particularly difficult? Yeah, all of the rotations in this kata. So there's gonna be some 180 de ro uh, degree rotations after her next ki coming up. And then a 270 turn almost going into a cat stance. So yeah, lots of difficulty here. Great focus and concentration, isn't there? Yes. Here's the turn coming up. Nice, and she stuck it. It's very graceful, Kata, isn't it? Yeah, I, I love watching it just because it keeps you on your toes, right? Like everyone's timing is slightly different for Paparin. Um, and there's major highlights that everyone tries to amplify here. Very sturdy lower body.
excellent performance of the Kata Papurin from Azuma Seiko. Yeah, I think it was a solid performance too. Uh, the judges, seven of which will make their choice of the scores. They'll put that into the computer, into the tablets, and the scores will be revealed at the end of the Kata performance from La Motion Grace. And your wishes being granted. Chatnyaraku Shanku is the choice Amazing. of Kata. I'm excited to watch. And uh, what a fantastic athlete to demonstrate the Kata. World Games silver medalist, Olympic bronze medalist. Twice she's been a Karate One Premier League gold medalist. Now more young Grace, world's number one seed. As uh, you said, Claudia, <laughs> the amazing performance of Riku Yusami. Yeah. Standing ovation, 16,000 people, Paris Bercy, 2012 World Championship final. Sensational performance of the Kata. Definitely Some say memorable. the best ever. Yeah. When you just say Riku Yusami and you think Chatanyara, you, you can picture back. You vi I visualize it all the time. I'm pretty sure every athlete will recall that video for sure. Or if they were there watching in person too. And that performance is, of course, had millions and millions of views. But this performance is fantastic by La Motion Grace. I'm gonna kind of put you on the spot a little bit, Claudia. And at the end of the performance, I want you to, uh, Give us your opinion. Would you go red or would you go blue? It's going to take me a bit to decide. I'm going to keep watching Grace here. So far, I think she's been super dynamic from the beginning. And um, and it looks like she's not even breaking a bead of sweat. So uh, These two katas are very difficult to compare side by side because they show and they highlight different strengths. Um, for Grace, I think it's a lot about speed and so far she's been sticking every technique here so it makes her look more um, more powerful more grounded here for Papurin again I think it was the contrast that stands out the most the the contrast between mm -hmm. hard and soft technique or yep. soft and slow techniques too so it's gonna be a difficult decision for the refs for sure Very still ending, so nice and clean, sharp. No extra movements after their techniques. Lots of control for both athletes. You can see the control in all of their techniques. So that takes a tremendous amount of skill. And that's something that all kata practi practitioners are, are trying to develop in all of our trainings, right? Mm -hmm. how, to, how to explode from a still movement, how to um, build and like strength endurance in our in our legs or in our bodies and then go from zero to 100 as fast as we can ah let's see what the judges say which are you going to go one. for red I or blue Ooh, this is a coin toss for me i cannot oh, it's a coin toss. i cannot <laughs> being a referee is a tough job ah, <laughs> it's always been yes. difficult but they have to make a decision eight four eight two in favor of Azuma, eight five eight five eight five eight five eight seven eight 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 seven eight 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 eight. Oh, okay. Oh, by point two. 
And what's your grace? 43.4 against 43.2. Very Fantastic. close. And as you say, it was a, almost a coin toss. <laughs> I should put money on this. You should. You should indeed. That was really good.